badass. That's, that's the best description. Of, I feel like a teenager saying it, but you know, I was really adamant when we did this. If we were ever going to do a kind of Wolverine movie, that we have to start off with his origins because it's such a mystery, and that's you got to understand who he is. And uh, in X Men, Wolverine we know is someone with so much mystery because he himself doesn't understand. So this goes way back. It goes way back, and you get to see him as even as a little boy. You get to see him sort of grow up and. Kind of by the end of the movie. Is there a little Edward Scissorhands in there? There's a little Edward Scissorhands, <laughs> yeah, but with a little twist. Everything's got a little twist in it. And uh, Benioff wrote the script. Incredibly smart and incredibly passionate Wolverine fan. Benioff and uh, Gavin Hood uh, directed it, who is a great director, won the Academy Award for Tsotsi, and, and he did an amazing job. So the action is fantastic, it's incredibly fun, and all of that stuff. Definitely there are other Marvel superheroes from X-Men, the ones you haven't seen. Because okay. this all plays prior to X-Men 1. So uh, this is, the beauty of doing that is, I don't know how many there are, maybe 200 characters or something, maybe 300 characters that are still unused, and so we got to use that. I mean, when we did a two or three minute trailer at Comic-Con, when Gambit came on screen, I mean, the roof just went off. Well, that went crazy. So Gambit is probably as popular even more popular than Wolverine, dare I say. But anyway, so it's been great to be able to play with that, getting new actors in and things like that. I'd had enough of Halle Berry. He wants to work. I know. <laughs> Me. I did. <laughs> I'm talking about, I loved it. Kidding. I've done it four times. I'd do it four more. <laughs> <laughs>